Hey all, welcome to Homeschool, and this is our last session or the last part of a chapter: microorganisms, friends, and foe. Okay, uh, which comes as a second chapter in science class eight. Fine. See, all the parts are already over. The entire concept was covered in a detailed way, and if you have not yet watched, please go to the description where links are provided. and in today's class i am dealing with the topic nitrogen fixation so what do you mean by nitrogen fixation and what is a nitrogen cycle clear that's what we are discussing in today's session the most important aspect the nitrogen fixation see here our atmosphere has 78% nitrogen gas nitrogen gas formula is n2 okay how much is there in our atmosphere 78% and nitrogen is the element which is very much essential for all living organism it can be plants or animals it's the most important element for plants from plants we actually get nitrogen into our body okay so nitrogen is one important element for uh, the protein synthesis we have so called proteins inside a uh, animal body as well as inside a plant body and this proteins to uh, get prepared in a body nitrogen is very much essential okay but we don't want nitrogen in the form of into we don't want we will not take we will not use nitrogen as n2 form okay so we will be using nitrogen in the form of nitrogen compounds we will use nitrogen in the form of nitrogen compounds like kno2 okay or kno3 nano3 you know here also n is there you see but not as n2 it is there in some other form right so our body or plant body can use nitrogen only in these forms not as n2 okay and now our atmosphere is very much rich with n2 gas atmosphere doesn't have this type of compounds but plant need nitrogen in this form not as n2 okay so we want somebody to convert n2 into nitrogen compounds so we want something that can convert nitrogen as n2 to nitrogen in these forms plants use nitrogen in this way only okay plants do not take up n2 from atmosphere plants will take up nitrogen as kno3 and nano3 from soil okay so these things must be present in soil okay so who will convert n2 gas as a uh, nitrogenous compounds in a soil okay so these are usable nitrogenous compounds uh, by plants clear so who will convert who will do this conversion it is done by bacteria it is done by bacteria can you tell me what is the name of that bacteria one example is rhizobium we have something called rhizobium bacteria okay where is this rhizobium bacteria present yeah it is present in the leguminous plant root nodules okay so you must have observed pea plant or uh, you know any other pulses you can take any pulses okay beans plant pea or beans plants which belongs to a plant variety called legumes okay say so if you observe their roots you will have certain kind of nodules you can observe that in the picture also you will have something like nodules okay this nodules will have a bacteria called rhizobium okay this nodules will have a bacteria called rhizobium so this rhizobium bacteria fixes okay it will fix fixing in the sense what here conversion of n2 gas into nitrogen compounds okay so this bacteria fixes atmospheric nitrogen atmospheric nitrogen 
okay clear and this process we will call it as nitrogen fixation and now i will write the definition of nitrogen fixation try to understand nitrogen fixation means conversion conversion of atmospheric nitrogen in atmosphere how is our nitrogen present it is present as n2 that is called as atmospheric nitrogen into into nitrogenous okay nitrogenous compounds in soil that can be used that can be used by plants okay that can be used by plants conversion of atmospheric nitrogen into nitrogenous compounds in soil uh, that can be used by plants and who will bring this conversion which organisms are bringing this conversion this conversion is brought by bacteria like rhizobium okay so th this is what we mean by nitrogen fixation okay so this is what nitrogen fixation and this is done by nitrogen fixation fixation is done by done by bacteria bacteria called rhizobium rhizobium so where are this rhizobium bacteria present they are present on the root nodules of which type of plants plants like pea and beans they belong to which category legumes okay so all leguminous plants will have nodules and these nodules have bacteria called rhizobium and what is their duty they will convert atmospheric nitrogen into usable nitrogenous compounds okay so nitrogen enters into a plant body in the form of this compounds okay and we consume plants right so uh, that way nitrogen enters into our body so why is nitrogen very much necessary for a body it is to prepare proteins it is for the synthesis or the manufacture of proteins clear and now okay so our atmosphere has 78% nitrogen okay so all that nitrogen is converted into uh, these compounds by nitrogen fixing bacteria fine and then every time you see the percentage of nitrogen in atmosphere it is 78 only and how come this is remaining constant actually the bacteria is converting uh, this atmospheric nitrogen into some other substances right but still every time you measure the amount of nitrogen in atmosphere it is 78 only it's not increasing or it's not decreasing how does this amount of nitrogen is being constant in the atmosphere yes see we take nitrogen nitrogen is getting converted into this compounds plants are taking nitrogen animals are eating nitrogen and we are giving out nitrogenous waste product okay say so our animal waste even in the plant waste you know the waste material has nitrogen that's how nitrogen again going into a soil and this nitrogen again gets converted into atmospheric nitrogen by bacteria itself so this is all a cycle okay so some bacteria is converting nitrogen into nitrogenous compounds plants are taking this compounds animals are consuming them again animals uh, leave lots of waste okay the animal waste or plant waste whatever the excreta uh, left by plants and animals will contain nitrogen compounds they enter into a soil okay again from a soil bacteria is the one which converts this form into nitrogenous gas nitrogen gas back into atmosphere right so this cycle let us try to understand uh, with the help of a flow chart that is what we mean by nitrogen cycle see i'm drawing a nitrogen cycle observe carefully nitrogen in atmosphere okay atmosphere and this nitrogen in atmosphere will get uh, converted 
they will get converted into nitrogenous nitrogenous compounds compounds in soil in soil so how does nitrogen in atmosphere gets converted into nitrogenous compounds in soil it is by the bacteria it is by bacteria right it is by bacteria called rhizobium and also this process can be done by lightning lightning also can convert uh, the atmospheric nitrogen into nitrogen compounds in soil okay and this is what we mean by nitrogen fixation nitrogen fixation right okay after that this nitrogenous compounds were taken by plants right so uptake uptake by plants so plants uh, who grow in a soil so from a soil these nitrogenous compounds uh, will enter into a plant body right and uh, slowly uh, that nitrogen would enter into animals also okay so animals what do they do animals eat plant right so that way the nitrogen would enter into animal also and now animals uh, excrete the waste materials from the body that excretory uh, substances contain nitrogen okay so animals excrete excrete nitrogen nitrogenous substance substance as waste okay say urine uh, if you think of human beings human beings will excrete urine urine contain urine contains urea uric acid etc okay so this uric acid and everything contain nitrogen compounds right so that way animals eat plant and then uh, they leave nitrogen substances as waste and where will this nitrogenous substance goes again they will uh, go to soil right so that way nitrogenous compounds are going to soil nitrogenous compounds entered into plant again they are coming back to soil how by this particular route okay so plants are eaten up by animals and animals uh, give out excretory substances and those substances are nothing but our nitrogenous substances and they finally uh, will reach our soil again from soil uh the nitrogenous substances will get converted into atmospheric nitrogen okay that is also done by certain bacteria that is also done by certain bacteria and that is the reason our 78% nitrogen gas whatever is there in atmosphere it is remaining constant okay so we are using that uh, 78% nitrogen in atmosphere this way but it is again uh, going back it is recycled back this way okay so initially atmospheric nitrogen has converted into nitrogenous compounds in a soil and this is what we mean by nitrogen fixation it can be done by lightning or it can be done by bacteria called rhizobium and after that these nitrogen compounds are consumed by it is taken up by plants animals consume plants so they will enter into animal body and uh, you know animals give out certain waste materials okay and that would that would contain nitrogenous substances that's how they will finally reach back to soil again this nitrogenous components whatever is there in a soil will convert back to atmospheric nitrogen uh, by bacteria itself right and this is a very simple nitrogen cycle which you have to write and practice okay so you must know how is our 78% nitrogen in atmosphere is remaining constant it's because of this nitrogen cycle okay so that's all about this chapter microorganisms friends and foe so hope you enjoyed the chapter right and now that you understood how microorganisms are 
necessary for uh, mankind and how they are harmful for the mankind right microorganisms have some advantages right without microorganism we actually cannot live in this universe see in our body there are crores of microorganisms and doing lots of things okay so they are very much essential at the same time we have to be safe we have to protect our environment it's because if we spoil our uh, water if we contaminate the air you know harmful microorganisms would become more in the environment and when those microorganisms enter into a living systems you know the living system will finally get collapsed such a small microorganisms which you cannot uh, see with your naked eye can kill Uh, uh, the big animals isn't it so the microorganisms have such power and they are everywhere everywhere they are present okay so these are some basic idea about uh, the useful nature of microorganism and the harmful character of microorganism okay so with this i am completing the chapter let us meet up in the next chapter in the next coming videos so till then take care all the best and don't forget to subscribe our channel to learn the concepts in a easiest way and in a detailed way thank you so much